Bachelor Nation, next week is going to be big. Get your paper towels ready because tea will be spilled. Spilt? Spilled? Spilt? And fences will be leapt. Leaped? Leapt? Ugh, this is too early in the morning. We've got two episodes next week. Fantasy Suites where little boy Colton is about to become little man Colton. And then the women tell all. So what are we waiting for? Let's check this preview out. It's a very special two-night Bachelor television event. So I'm guessing we're headed outside of the United States for the fantasy suites. They often like to do either Europe or Southeast Asia or some exotic location at this point in the show, but they've already done Southeast Asia, so I guess, uh, I don't know, Europe? Oh, by the way, that's Tasha. And I could be making love for the first time. Oh, so that's why Colton's been showering so much this season. He's obsessed with being clean for the first time. I'm finally heading into the fantasy suite with somebody who I'm madly in love with. Oh. When I lose my virginity, it will be tender, it will be passionate. So no surprise that the butt he's grabbing here is Cassie's, especially considering he's been doing that all season. Hey, do me a favor, grab my butt! I'm going to be very interested in who goes first this episode, because, you know, the whole virginity thing. But I'm getting ahead of myself. When I lose my virginity, it will be tender, it will be passionate, and I want it to be the greatest thing that she's ever felt. Said every 17-year-old boy on prom night ever. It's the moment you've been waiting for all season. Chris Harrison, you've lied to me once. You better not be lying again. Nah, there's no way they don't do the fence jump next week. They've toyed with us long enough. Jump the fence? It really would. I hate that I thought this would work. Up till now, nobody knew the truth. <laughs> From here on, we get a bunch of footage we've all seen before. But before we get into the women tell-all portion, let's speculate. First, like I said before, I'm super interested in who gets the first date because if they head into the fantasy suites, that will be Colton's first time. So, either two things will happen. Colton, you know, graduates. Sex. Or... He doesn't go through with it, which would speak volumes, because Colton has said he wants his first time to be with the person he's in love with. So if Colton loses it, I imagine that person will be the winner. As for this spot with Hannah G in red, remember this footage from the week 7 preview? Don't deserve to be anybody's backup plan. <laughs> Something goes down while they chat, but based off the jeans she's wearing, I'm thinking this doesn't take place on a fantasy suite date. One of those, he goes to visit her in her room later kind of chats. It's also not the same night as the gate jump. Check Colton's shirt here, and the white shirt here on gate jump night. Side note, while I was editing this whole shirt segment, I did notice that on his fantasy suite date with Cassie, white shirt. Just saying. So, Hannah G is not the cause of the jumping. At least not when they're having this chat. And where's the Tasha in tears footage? We get Cassie in the back of a car crying. My guess is this has to do with the gate jump. So, curiouser and curiouser. All right, let's move on to the women tell all footage. And then on Tuesday night, it's an explosive women tell all when Colton returns to the stage to face the women he rejected. The fake gasps are really cringy. Like I could put that after everything I say. Tomatoes are actually fruit. Whoa. I like pizza. Dogs are cute. <laughs> when Colton returns to the stage to face the women he rejected. It's gonna go down, but he needs to hear it. Well, you are a liar. Because so this has to be one of the worst promos ever. All the footage they show is from past episodes and not the women tell all. Well, except for Colton closing his eyes a bunch and the audience gasping. Wow, thanks for this juicy teaser. I'm really pumped for the tell all. I'm sensing a little sarcasm. But here's what I am looking forward to hearing about on the women tell all, apart from, you know, the gate jump stuff that's going to happen. First off, what Katie said. I'm sure she signed a non-disclosure, so she's had to be tight-lipped about it, but I want to know everything Katie said that stirred up this whole controversy against Cassie and Kaylin. They seem to have purposely left it out of that episode, so I'm very curious as to why. Also, Bachelorette. I'm hoping it gets announced. So it has to be one of five women, the final four and Hannah Alabama. If they don't announce it next week, expect The Bachelorette to be the runner-up in the final two. Sort of like what they did with Becca. We didn't get the announcement she was going to be The Bachelorette until after the finale because, well, that would have given away that she didn't end up with Ari. But my thinking is that it's down to, naturally, 
Hannah Alabama, and Kaylin. Or maybe Hannah G. So I've got my fingers crossed it will be announced next week. As for eliminations, I'm not sure. Cassie, I think, is staying, so it's a toss-up for me between Tasha and Hannah G. So I guess I'll just stick to my original prediction that Hannah G and Cassie are in the final and say that Tasha goes. All right, folks, that's it for this Bachelor preview breakdown. Take this week to prepare because we've got tons of extra Bachelor goodies coming next Monday and Tuesday. I'll be doing a video on each episode, so stay tuned for that. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. See you all next week on the other side of that fence. You called us all bitches the first night. You are the person who decides to get in the middle of everything.